What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Casimir here, and today we got ourselves some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Battle Stadium doubles. Gotta get used to saying that. And if you didn't check out the last few episodes, you should. We um we put some work in. We got our we got our in the last episode we were able to get our managed teams to share. Okay. We're gonna share this team. I wanna show off this team. So we went three and three with this team. And we're gonna check just so you guys can see. Um, this team doesn't have an ID. So if anybody's interested in trying out this team, we're gonna make it public. Alright. Um I like this team a lot. We're gonna be going down my uh, thoughts and opinions on it. We did six battles with it, went three and three, and as weird as it's gonna sound, we really only got to showcase Gyarados and Sylveon. Um, everybody else we really didn't get to showcase that much. Um, I do think Scrafty as a Pokemon A tier. Like A plus ranking on how it was played. As the way I played it, I'll say it's about B tier. Just wanna check it. So yeah, here's the team. Here goes the code right here if you guys want to check it out. Um, just put the code in down below and it should let you um, select the team. So, and it's loud on my end, the TV. So, yeah, this is what we were rocking for everybody if you're not aware. I like the team a lot. It was not perfect by any means. Um, we did improve it by making Toxtricity Air Balloon instead of Black Sludge. I feel like if you're going to run Toxtricity, give it Air Balloon or Focus Sash just to get it going. Let's Cavalier. Put in some work i i think everybody honestly put in work it's just that it wasn't the way we wanted it to go down if that makes sense so yeah overall if you guys want to see a breakdown of the team let me know down below and let's just check out what teams we can rent a rainy team or a tough team um you know what the rain team looks fun but the tough team looks more like I could teach more about doubles with the tough team than the rain but let's have some fun we'll, we'll pick the rain team we'll, we'll try it out oh yeah that's right we used it. so oh, I see because I used those rental teams in the battle tower showing me like oh hey here goes the teams that you can use all right I don't want to see my opponent's info. So let's check out the data. Yay, we have Pokeball tier, and I know it's about to show up for y'all. Um, I, I had to do a second recording of this. I tried to check out the first team in my previous recording, but they think I was trying to do a battle. He goes 30 BP. Yep, 30 BP. So this is actually funny. Uh, don't mind this. It's not going to be the team. Um, I'm actually completing the Pokedex, and I'm 12 away. Like, I'm 12 away from having my Pokédex completed. Which is actually part of the question of the day down below. What is your jersey number? If you have Pokémon Sword and Shield, I'm interested to see what jersey number you picked and why. Um, if you don't have Sword and Shield, what jersey number are you interested in picking up? Um, personally, personally, um, I picked number 12. The reason I picked number 12 is because in sports, if I was to play, let's say, football, basketball, soccer, whatever, I would like to have jersey number 12 be my jersey number it's just one of my favorite numbers and it's a nice solid one and it's different and more unique than some of the other numbers you see in here like 69 666 420 000 well 000 ain't that bad it's just not creative if you ask me so let's try to hop in let's hopefully find some opponents that we can play against in the pokeball team okay battle against Nera Rick 4 cool Okay, let's check out her team. So she is running, interesting, or he. It looks like it's a Trick Room team, and I'm saying that because Dusclops and Kabaraja. I think that's what the Pokemon's called at the top. The Uniclus can set up as well. So yeah, because Lycavolt doesn't have the best speed, and Arcanine can be put anywhere really. So, interesting. Let's check out the team. Pelipper. Sash, perfect. We can put Tailwind. Skull, okay. Moody Yolo. That's interesting. Predation. I like how they put this as the combination right there. But you know what? 
you know what? Here's the idea. We're gonna go Pelipper to get the rain up. Raichu for the fake out pressure. Because it also does a pretty decent job against the entire team. I'm gonna bring Ludiolo. And. We're gonna bring Beresputa. So that's the team I'm rolling with. Um, I'm really worried about the Kaparaja because we don't have a dedicated answer for it with this team. Especially since this isn't even my team. Okay, I like that. I mean, they're number 12 versus number 14. Let's get it. So, let me know down below, guys. Y'all want to see me use the same, like, rental team for three episodes? Or y'all want to see me mix it up with the different rental teams? Like, this team for this episode, maybe another team for next episode, another team after that. Um... Basically, I just want to have some fun and do this while I can at this lower tier Because I did this like in master ball tier and all that those people already played these um, rent, rent a team so I'm just gonna be at a huge disadvantage at that point Okay Let's just do that to dust clocks And we're gonna fake out the Kaparaja so we can't really. Ooh, D Max. Interesting. I did not expect the Kaparaja to be led with Dust Clocks. Start this off. I really did not see that. Not the end of this. Let me just pull up. I try not to use cop calcs or look up Pokemon information while I'm battling because I just want to use my own knowledge. But this is a new Pokemon, so it's just a pure steel type. Okay, that was that was some not bad da damage right there. And right, you got the lead. Oh man, there's the death rose. Okay, so it's a hard hitting Pokemon, but and trick room went up. Ah, uh, man, we did not bring... That's that's gonna be unfortunate. We did not bring... So we're gonna have to... Huh. This is very unfortunate. We did not bring... Ferrothorn. Thinking right now. I say bring Ludicolo, because Ludicolo can... It should be able to take a hit. How about we Dynamax? How about we Dynamax? Actually, no. That's not Dynamax. We're gonna scald the Dust Clops, both before burn. We're gonna Dynamax. And we're gonna go for. It's gonna summon hill. Yeah, let's just ignore. Let's just ignore the Kaparaja. It's gonna hit hard, but we could just ignore it right now. Get rid of the dust clocks. So we get rid of the dust clocks and force him into his next Pokemon. We could just well, we could work off of that. I definitely I went for the double target because um uh, yeah reasons dust clock you up in hand so it's not protecting okay max overgrowth my god that did a lot thankfully puts the terrain up I kind of wish I went for Kaparaz, but oh god, they didn't even knock out, bruh, this thing. Yeah, so we're just going to ignore the, we're just, we're just going to ignore. Let's try to fish for, 
I'm gonna try to fish for the confusion. I don't know how to handle this at all. I'm just gonna be completely honest. But if we can keep Pelipper to a certain degree, we keep Pelipper alive. When we get Beriskuta in, we kind of win. That was a weird angle they had that shot from. I thought it was actually attacking the pair of Pelipper. They're all gonna be confused. Like, that's the why they win. Pelipper, you hurricane. We didn't get the confusion. Okay. So there's Yuta. Okay, so there's E Max is open. We're gonna protect. Protect. Man, two, three turns of that, that was awful. We're still in this. We are definitely not out of this race right now. So we get rid of the Caparaja, and we just don't think about the Dusclops. Actually, no. The first turn we get the chance, we're going to take out this Dusclops. So it's Helping Hand, Nightshade, and Trick Room. Okay, let's watch for info. Okay, so why? Let's check the battlefield. We got one more turn of trick room to deal with. We don't need to set up Tailwind. So take out Caparaja. Actually no. Skull the Dust Clops. Close combat Caparaja. Willow, of course. Let me put my phone on vibrate because I hate the sound. And wow. Oh, wait, that's. Oh. Wow, that was just extremely annoying, battling all that. And that happened only in five turns. Dang. Well, that's game. I really ain't got no answer for Vikavolt, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna fire off Scald. I've had a better turn one. I'm not talking about just the fake out on the copyrighter, just if I led with something that could actually do something to it, this would have been better. Of course, it's one of those situations where it's like if I had my old team, like the team I used in the last video, like legit almost anybody from that team, we would have won this battle, but it's alright. It's alright. So, that's one game, and how long did it take? Jeez, so the intro is about three minutes long. No, screw their team. That battle took... That battle felt longer than ten minutes. I got a weird email from Amazon. They said something about... Your refund for Pokemon Shield. I'm gonna listen to more of Chairman Monroe's team, because why not? Alright. This is nice and in-game team loot. That's what it looks like. Alright, we take those. I got a refund for something. Okay, so Dragapult. This is looking very, 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 very scary. I think it's going to be G-Max. Oh, wait, you can't use G-Max yet in the format. The way, at least in the Battle Stadium yet. So... It's like they're going to be setting up Trick Room. I think the S-Bird thing has Trick Room. If not, 
clutch. Um, I'm worried about the Steelix because we don't have a real answer for it. I mean, we kind of do with Seismitoad and then Barrasquita. Pelipper, Seismitoad, Barrasquita in the back. Because Barrasquita can actually do really good work against a nice chunk of this team. And he can't do anything to my Ferrothorn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. Sison Toad is a really good answer because the Bolt Ton, the Bolt Ton, and the Toxtricity can't hit it. And Kurt Drag. Hey, zero zero zero. I said it's not the most creative thing, but it's something. So, um, Dragapult Steelers. Cool. Ooh, we got a shiny Dragapult. I see you with the flex. Alright, we take those. We make it rain. Uh, we don't need to really set up. Let's get the Scald and Dragapult because I want to fish for the burn. And then we're going to Earth Power Steelix. We get the burn on Dragapult because I think this is going to be a physical one based on his team. The has Toxtricity, um, it has the Esper looking thing, and those are definitely going to be. Okay, cool, no one Dynamax this time. Those are definitely going to be special attackers. Anthem Force. Cool. It's actually a pretty good move to use in this format. Now that I think about it. That move will stall out at least one turn of insert whatever by the opponents. So, yeah. I say this is a pretty good lead for us. We take it, we took out the Steelix, the biggest threat in our team. Um, I I assume they brought... Ooh, indeed, indeed, there it is. I assume they brought an electric type in the back. Ooh, they flexing the shinies. Ooh, I see you. I see you. Battlefield got weird. We're gonna still scald the Dragapult. We're gonna D Max. So we're gonna. We're gonna D Max and we're going to. We're gonna D Max and we're gonna Max Quake the Indeedity. I mean, we could probably go for Geyser and use the water boost from Rain. Along with the fact that it's stab, but that would be overkill. Um, I'm just doing this to raise our speed up. Because if he did bring in a special, if he did bring the like, attack Pokemon, I assume it was going to be Toxtricity. And if it is Toxtricity, us having good speed up is pretty much going to win us the game. Now, like, of course, Seismito walls most of what Toxtricity can do. Plus, the opponent didn't DM. Okay, this thing is bulkier than I thought. That's actually impressive. Anthem Force kicks in. That did a nice chunk. And a life orb. DDD you psychic. That was a smart double touch. That was a smart move on him to double down on the seismic hope. We get our skull dolph. Nope. Okay. Double down the DDD slot because um, if you double down the DDD slot, Siphon Toad is going to attack before Pelipper. So if this thing goes for. Really? Um, okay. Okay, the, the late. Okay, we, we take those, I guess. The late Dynamax and airport. So we're going to attack then DDD. We get the KO. Assuming it went for like protect or something. Or this. Or this. Perfect. Now they don't know we were double downing on it. I don't know what their thought process really was for that. 
the better play would have been Phantom Force and I guess protect or attack, assuming this indeed he has protect. We will never know because it kinda got deleted in two turns. Thank you, Slash and Toad. You did your thing. You did your thing. You should be proud. And that was a crit. I don't think the crit mattered. KO, but mm, that was a crit. Okay, okay, the turn of crits. Oh man, gotta love Pokemon. I'm bringing Ferrothorn because we kind of win at this point. Yep. Got Ferrothorn in. Oh, we still got our Sash. Set up Tailwind. And. I set up Tailwind and I'm gonna gyro ball to Toxtricity. And the reason I'm setting up Tailwind is for next turn. Cool. So next turn, after we get this gyro ball off, next turn, Pelipper off speeds and Beriscuta, if Beriscuta has to come in, we'll be able to. Ooh, he wants for a boom burst. I did not. Oh yeah, that's right. Boom burst does hit everything. I'm, I'm like oh, overdrive. Or should I say blast beat? Okay, we got the tailwind up. Gyro ball. I know it's not the smartest play because we kind of sped ourselves up. I think. Yeah, I think tailwind affects that. Uh, we got the black sludge. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of GG right here. Oh, they say really flying is not very effective against. Eh, who cares? Oh, we oh we're banded. That explains the damage. Oh, the went for sculpt in the rain, so it's boosted. Toxicity is done for, so this is game. I want to say GG to the opponent. This is actually an interesting matchup. It, it was unfortunate for him because he didn't really have much of an answer to Rain. His team is very... Besides the follow me play, his team was very much into like, I'm going to do my own thing and hopefully that works out. It was very individualistic, which... I mean, I guess that's fair for the format. I just feel like they could have done a little bit more with the synergy on their part. A GG to them. So... We're already starting off better than the first team. We are one and one. Um, we'll call it right there, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know both questions down below. What is your favorite jersey? What is your jersey number? Um, and why? And also, should I do a different rental team? Um, actually, I don't know. So what happened is, just to keep this fair, I'm upload the video. Um, the day I upload, the comments I get at that time. I'm going to use that feedback and then eventually upload the next episode that same day. I mean, not upload the next episode, but like, kind of, you know, record. That's what I mean. So, um, yes. Hopefully, that will be it, guys. And I'm about to get out of here. I got 12 more Pokemon to do. And I got to watch the Tekken World Tour. And I got to watch some animes. So, caught the most Pokemon. Number of players compared. Evolve the most Pokemon. Where do you get these stats from? They could... They compared to 100 people. I have the most link battles. Traded the most book. 50 50. Okay, okay, this is not. <laughs> that's not anything right there. Alright, guys, I'm about to get out of here. Case for open. I gotta close.